Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Our next destination is a place we've been to before, the Faron Woods. But why hoof it all the way there? We can just warp over to the place that we need to go with Midna. When you're in wolf form, you can warp anywhere that you have unlocked the portal after defeating a Shadow Beast attack. So, that is extremely handy. But we can't do that quite at will just yet, like be able to switch between human and wolf forms. But anyway, you want to go to this one. I'm sure you remember this place. It's the entrance to the forest temple. And look who it is! Why is it running? Oh, jeez. This does not look good. Puppet attack. And those things are very creepy. I think you know what to do here. Yeah, they have to go. <laughs> They're pretty weak enemies if you just do the B button lock on thingy. Yes, I did. You're welcome. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, that is a juicy bit of information you're spouting out of your uh, banana hole. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Wait, actually, do you have anything else to say? Green clad prince. <laughs> okay, so over here, Midna will alert you of a little jumping portion here. So you know what to do from here on out. Woohoo! Obviously, you couldn't do this before because Midna and I were not uh, alerted of this location. So she had no idea this was here, and nor did you. And there you are. So I knew there was two there, just like, eh. Now, and since you don't have access to the Gale Boomerang, you gotta wait for these thingies to flip around. Yeah, and you gotta wait. And wait. And wait. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I guess you don't have to wait that long. Okay, crawl across here, but very carefully. If you get knocked off from these things, you'll have to start from the beginning. Plus, you'll take a little bit of damage, obviously. <laughs> anyway, listen. This Howling Stone has the Prelude of Lights. Not bad, but I think it's too slow of a pace to actually match up with the actual song. <laughs> I don't understand why they make you howl twice. Why don't they just take you to here and then do the howling thing, because I'll show you something here. You can leave the howling area if you can't figure it out. So it's like, there's no reason to make you sing the song twice, if you get what I mean. Anyway, I'm cutting forward. Here we are again, so let's do it for realsies. Oh, and as you can see, the second one is way easier than the first as well, because of the fact that it shows you the guidelines. So the first one's harder than the second one anyway, so I don't know why they would make you repeat something that's even easier. I just don't get it. A little bit off key. <laughs> I suppose you can't uh, expect the wolf to be able to sing all that well, you know. They're wolves. <laughs> well, I guess they aren't true wolves. They're both warriors of sorts. Okay, where is this located? Where is this hidden skill? Any day now. Uh, that that's Hyrule Castle. So, oh, this is the place where I jumped down into Lake Hylia, the, my worst idea ever, and ended up back here. I had to walk all the way back around. So yeah, it's it's at that place. Arr! Anyway, let's move on. And believe it or not, there is yet another Howling Stone coming up in just a second. But we're going to get a little intro to this new area. The Sacred Grove. Ah, beautiful music. This place is kind of like the Lost Woods in a way. Anyway, here's the other Howling Stone. Zelda's Lullaby. Uh, I barely got that. <laughs> I wasn't quite in timing there. Oh well. Oh! 
they butchered that one. <laughs> And hello there, Skull Kid. Yeah, he's the one that's summoning these things. And now you've got to find him. He can sort of manipulate the forest, anyway. Uh, you can attack and kill those things if you want to, but... Only when they're in your way, really, is my advice, because they just keep coming. They, they spawn infinitely. Uh, gotta, gotta track down the, the guy by listening to where the song is. You can hear him blowing on his horn there, and now he's going to teleport to another area. Through there. It's, it's kind of hard to f keep track of him because of the way that the camera, you know, sort of cuts between him and where he's going and stuff like that. I don't, like, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go through this waterfall area next. I guess I'll find out. No, he's not here yet. I would be able to hear him up there. That's another location that he's at. Wait, wait. I can hear him up there. He's somewhere in this area, unless you get to him out from another location, maybe through here, and then you go around to the other side. Get up, get up, get up. Yeah. That's what I mean about just kill them if they're in your way, but otherwise leave them alone. Alright, where are you going to now? Uh, I'm not sure where that is, actually. <laughs> Yeah, you can jump off here. Maybe it's actually back across this way. Oh, it's so annoying getting out of the water with those guys in your way. And you can't attack them when you're in the water as well. Uh, let's try this way. Did I just go in a circle? <laughs> I think I went in a circle. Notice that there's no map in this area. That's because it kind of is a mysterious, uncharted area, so to speak. Yeah, I don't think I went the right way here. Alright, so... Back? Maybe he went to... No? <laughs> I always get lost doing this. I'm gonna flop through here, and they better not catch up with me. That would really suck as I'm climbing out of the water again. Uh, was there any other... No, there wasn't any other paths up here. Curses! Alright, so back this way I go, maybe, no, actually, <laughs> ah, my sense of direction is so poor, um, what is, nothing here, okay, well, there's grass, I suppose, if you want to cut the grass up, but I don't think you want to cut the grass up, who wants to mow their lawn, anyway, <laughs> hmm. did he go, Ah, so these, some of these paths do close up, because I remember that being open before. So that's... Oh, he's up there now. So that's why I'm getting confused here. Paths that were open or closed and whatnot. That's probably why there's no map for realsies. Um, how do I get up? I don't, do I get up to him through here? Uh, looks like it. You guys, gotta go. <laughs> Dang that automatic! Ah, uh, uh, well, it doesn't take that long to get up here anyway. Oh, and there's a nice heart. Oh, I'll leave him behind. I guess it doesn't really matter if I'm just gonna Z-target and jump right at him. They're gonna be slowing me down that way. Wait, wait, he just looked right up at me, so maybe the next path is straight down from there. Like, maybe through here, was it? Uh... Yes! Alright! Showdown! This would be so much easier if you had the bow. But you don't, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> but I guess that's the point of, you know, of having this kind of difficulty. So these guys are gonna get in your way, obviously. 
and you've just got to attack the skull kit. These guys will just keep spawning, so for the most part, don't even bother with them. And what, did, what does Midna have to say about this? Durr, I know that as well. <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh, dang it! How dare you escape my wrath! Where'd you go? Seriously, where'd you go? <laughs> oh! Block behind the boulder. By the way, you can blow that up later and get yourself a heart piece. Just saying, but that's... There you are. That works. You guys should just charge right after it. Instead of battling its cronies. Oh, go, 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 No, not that. Oh, wrong critter. Alright. Oh, there's... You get hearts. And man, they're really fast. <laughs> oh! Can't get him up there. At least not easily. Maybe you do have to kill off these guys before you're able to attack the Skull Kid. Because he seems to teleport before you even get to him. Okay, do your horn blow. There we go. Yeah, that's when he's vulnerable. Is when he's blowing his horn to make the uh, puppets appear. That's a lot of puppets. <laughs> good thing I have the good old B button. One button to kill them all. Oh, missed one. Alright, where is the skull kid? He is over there. Oh, I can't get up there in time. Oh, I can. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, so he opens that path for us, and now we go through it. We can't do anything about that boulder just yet, and oh, I just remembered this puzzle. Oh, this puzzle. So you howl here. The famous Zelda's lullaby. hate this puzzle. Not the lullaby. You'll s you probably know what puzzle I'm talking about, but oh geez, this thing is just so annoying. <laughs> this is it. These two giants here that we've seen as just statues, they want us to... statue butt? No, no. <laughs> They want us to lead them to two specific spots in this puzzle. See those mark spots? Yeah, we gotta get them over there. This is ah. Uh, so you got gotta get. It doesn't matter which one goes to which. And notice that they react differently depending on how you move. Like one goes opposite of what you move and the other one moves with you and you can use that to your advantage. Also, if you get them to jump at each other, they won't do anything. <laughs> also, if you get them to clash with each other like this, they'll bounce back to their original squares and you can use that to your advantage. Well, I think. <laughs> I'm going to try and get them to go around and I believe that yeah this if they jump on top of you they will kind of squish you and you don't want that to happen <laughs> oh that one's gonna get in my way isn't it really hope not am I able to switch positions with these guys or can I oh I can just talk with them hmm yeah I will continue I Really, really suck at this puzzle, I admit. <laughs> so, yeah. And I might have put myself in an unwinnable situation now, actually, so maybe I should talk to him. Uh, let's try it again. How about like this? Because that'll separate them by one square. And by another. I'm trying to get them, like, opposite corners. Uh-oh. I think I just trapped myself again. I think I got the right idea. Yeah, I just trapped myself again. Dang it! <laughs> oh, 
Uh, I think I'm on to something here. What if I were to do this? And now... This. There we go, it's about time. Duh. <laughs> that was definitely not the most efficient solution. <laughs> Thank you! Jeez! Go! 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 Get out of there! Leave that puzzle in the dust! And what is this? The Sacred Blade! That's the thing that got embedded in our head. Now it's out. <laughs> oh yeah, you got the Master Sword. Definitely the most iconic blade in the Zelda series. You use it exactly like you used your other sword. Just saying. But it's more powerful. Now, this is the part in the walkthrough that is very, very important to making things both easier for you and I. This is why. Because now I can transform into a wolf anytime I want to, and that means I can warp anytime I want to. So I can solve puzzles that I need to as Human Link, but can warp as if I was Wolf Link. See? This is going to be amazing now. It also completely eliminates, I mean, <laughs> Anope. I was going to say Epona. Who is Epona? <laughs> hmm. Maybe? Yes. Alright! Now, to transform anytime you like, just talk to Midna, and you can transform into a wolf like so. But, I'm not going to do that just yet. First, take a little time to admire the beauty of this place. Ah... So very nice. Okay, let's go. <laughs> now, what you want to do is go back over, if it's possible, to the place where the... Skull Kid was, and we're gonna blow up a boulder. We're just gonna do this as long as I'm here. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to use my water bombs. Oop, don't bounce like that. Hopefully it's in range. Yes it is. And look at that! It's a Poe! Transform into a wolf. See, you needed both forms to be able to solve this puzzle. And that's why it's so important that I needed to get that before I could do a lot of stuff in this walkthrough. So I held off on a lot of stuff that I could have gotten at the time for the fact that I am now able to warp anywhere that I want to. Now, as a bonus, dig where that rock once was in the center. And you appear in here. I'm going to kill off all the enemies. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it wasn't such a good idea to cut it like that. Yeah. It's like they can block my attacks by, um... 
uh, just by chomping at me as if it was another blade or something like that. Am I capable? Or do they just keep regrowing? Because I know there's a way to get a heart piece in here and, well, yeah. Yeah, I do think they keep regrowing. Or maybe not. Maybe there's just a lot of them. <laughs> well, I'll eventually get through them all. Yeah, I don't think they're regrowing. That was my mistake. There's just that many of them. Uh, back to human. Now we can do this. Can't cut you. Ah, there we go. I thought I could cut you. I didn't want to waste an arrow or anything like that. And now, once they're all defeated... I was a little worried that you'd have to, like, kill them all at once or something with Wolf Link, but that didn't seem possible with the way that they... Um, with the way that they take multiple hits, even when you're using the charge attack thingy. And there's a piece of hearts, which will give you yet another heart container because of the fact that you got five of them. Woohoo! And that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. So I'm going to exit here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.